Okay, in this video, uh, I'm going to start to talk about the uh, website layout and how to uh, edit the the appearance and the the, the layout of the uh, of the website. Uh, in some of the previous videos, we've gotten to this point, uh, creating a background, uh, creating the site itself uh, before that, and uh, creating a navigation menu. Uh, also, uh, we have a library down here that has some um, boxes that are standard advertising uh, sizes, so that's going to help us with our layout here. Um, and you can see in the view here, I uh, have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six major columns with these uh, faint blue lines here that will help us uh, uh, set things into the site. Um, if you get to this point or somewhere else down the road and you find that uh, you don't you don't have enough or you do, you need more of these uh, these columns uh, remember we set that when we created a site and if you want to uh, change that we ca uh, we go up to uh, edit oh, I'm on the wrong, uh, wrong thing here site properties under file that's that's what I was looking for and our site properties you have uh, layout here and I can change change number of columns column width if I if I think my page width is too wide I can change that here and uh, so here that's how you access that so this, these are things we set when we created a site but that's how you get to it if you find out you need to change it later so file site properties all right, uh, but I'm going to stick with what I have for right now. And the first thing I notice here is uh, the navigation menu that I created. It's a little wider than it needs to be. It's not quite in the right place. Uh, and, uh, you know, spaces, spaces at a premium. So um, I just click on that once. Uh, and it, it, see that it outlines the whole entire uh, uh, menu. And that's what I want. Now, if I sit there and I click on it again, it's going to drill down to the next level. That's not what I want. So click off it, click on it once, and I've got the whole thing highlighted like that. And I can just go ahead and size that down a little bit. There we go. Um, that's a little better. Um, and I don't like how uh, I, I want it to go all the way to the edge of my, my content window. So again, I'm going to select it. And this time, I'm just going to move it over and see how that red line highlight uh, shows up on the edge of my uh, my viewing area there that's that's what I want and I want the red line right at the top as well and so that's going to link it to those two guidelines and that's that's where I want it all right good so now if I put content in here I can put content up against this line or this line even and the menu shouldn't interfere so that's 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 what I want. Um, now, remember before I created, uh, or in one of my previous videos, I created a library of standard uh, advertising sizes, and I want to put a one of the, a banner across the top here, and uh, the one that I'll be looking for is this 728 by 90, uh, and that's 728 wide by 90 tall. And you can see I'm going to put it right in this zone here, but if, if uh, oh, I don't have my window so you can see it, um, you can see that that right now that's only what about 60 pixels high, this, this line right here. So I'm, I'm going to need to actually lower this a little bit. And I'm going to lower it down to say, uh, uh, I'm going to lower it to about, a, uh, yeah, let's just make it 90. Just, there we go. So, and if you, uh, I didn't show up real well. So you can see right there in uh, it says header y equals and I want it to be 90 right there. Okay, oh, my menu didn't move with it. Okay, that's easy enough to change. I can bring it down just like that. There we go. Um, now I can grab this, this box from my library and just bring it up in here and it should fit in place. I can bring it all the way over if I like. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring it all the way over to the left. And so it's gonna show up on the left side. 
at the very top of the page when we go to preview. So I can actually preview that now. And there we go. Okay, so that's that's where that banner ad is going to show up. Good, that's what I want. And <clears throat> I want to create a tall box over here that sticks to the right side of the page. Uh, and that is the 160 by 600. And again, I bring that over here. And I can move that around. I'm going to bring that all the way up to the upper right hand corner. Maybe not. Maybe I'll bring it just below. There we go. Yeah. That's where I'm going to put that one. So it's aligned with the right edge and that guideline right there. Okay. So there's still plenty of viewing space here for content. Uh, I'm going to do one more and I want to put it over here. I want to use the 300 by 325, but if I bring it over here now, and there's nothing to really attach it to vertically unless I come down here. But if I attach it to this bottom guideline, this is going to move with the bottom of the page. This is my footer. And if this page ends up being real uh, tall, um, it uh, it uh, will uh, it will uh, you know it won't it won't be in the view when you load the page and usually like to have the advertising show up uh, when the page first loads so how I fix that is I'm gonna create another guideline and that so another horizontal guideline and that's as easy as coming over here and just uh, double clicking I'm gonna set it at about let's say 300 and now I, yeah, I did that by just double clicking on this on the ruler over here and I can move it up and down and I want to set it at 300 now I can bring this up and just touch that and there now now that I see it I think that that's probably too wide for that spot so I'm probably going to move it around but I think you get the idea of, of how you can al align something over there um, so I'll, I might play with that a little bit later offline, but, but that's about it. Uh, one other thing I want to show you, actually I'm going to delete it right now because I, I don't like how that looks right there. Cut that. I don't need this guideline anymore. Cut. Um, so imagine this is going to be a page. Now where, where do I want my content? I want my content right in here. Well, um, it's a good idea to go ahead and create a, a box to put the content in. Um, and to do that, you, you go to the top uh, to the menu here and you hit the rectangle tool. And it's as easy as just drawing a box. Okay. Now, um, now when I si I can now I can I can go hit my selector and I can size this box and and how I want this to go is I want to bring the box let's say to this line over there and you saw how it highlighted I want to bring it up to uh, height wise I'll bring it up to that line and bring it over to there okay and I want it to go all the way to my footer Okay, so that's my content area, and uh, and up here I can change my fill. I can make it. Uh, no, that's all. I, I want that fill effects, and that's where I set my. Remember, I set my opacity, and I can do that here. There you go. Actually, let's set. Let's look. Let's uh, check this. What's my opacity set to here? Uh, set to 69. So I'll, I'll do the same for this box. So opacity 69. But yeah, you know, I just thought of something that that's going to be on top of the 69 of the background here. So that that that's okay. You can play with that, or we can just make it completely transparent by doing this. And now it's an area where we can 
uh, type text and I can do that by doing this and just There we go. So there's a hello world for Adobe Muse. <laughs> that's as easy as it is. Um, and that's about it. So we can do whatever we want in our content here. Uh, I'm going to change this right now. I'm going to say put content here. And uh, I'm going to center it here. And I'm going to go down a few rows. Uh, whoops. Uh, where'd it go? There we go. Place content here, and this is just a reminder to myself. And there we go. We have a uh, we have a box up here. That a banner is going to go. We have a box over here where advertisements go. Content's going to go here. We got our menu moved over. And that's that's the real basics of uh, formatting the, uh, a web page. And and oh, uh, one more thing before we go, I'm working in a in the uh, master. Uh, so advertise uh, edit in the master. Okay, uh, that's it for now. Uh, thanks a lot.